Welcome to my channel. To stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to SR Smart Videos by clicking the subscribe button. Please subscribe my channel. Let's start with our first topic. Introduction. The term computer, derived from Latin word, computare, which means compute. Next. Computer definition. A computer is an electronic device, which convert, raw data, into meaningful information. A computer is a fast counting device with long history. One of the earliest, and most well-known, device was, Abacus. It was design used to add, subtract, multiply and divide numbers. It is fast portable, non-electronic device. Charles Babbage is known as, the father of the computer. In 1812, Charles Babbage designed, a steam power device called, the analytical engine. It was more, sophisticated general purpose, computing device. The generation of computer, is based on, when major technology, changes occur within the computer. Computer generations, are divided into five, categories, they are, first generation, second generation, third generation, fourth generation, fifth generation. Learn, each generation, in more details. Let's start with the first, generation. The first generation, period is considered, from 1946 to 1954. The main technology, used in computer, was vacuum tubes. Some examples of first, generation computers are, ENIAC, UNIVAC, IBM 650. The second generation, period is considered, from 1955 to 1964. The main technology, used in computer, was transistors. Some examples, of second generation, computers are, IBM, 1401. GE, 235. The third generation, period is considered, from 1965 to 1970. The main technology, used in computer, was integrated circuit. Some examples, of third generation, computers are, IBM, 360. The fourth generation, period is considered, from 1971 to 1980. The main technology, used in computer, was very large integrated circuit. Some examples, of fourth generation, computers are, IBM 4341, Star 1000. The fifth generation, period is considered, from 1982, and present. The main technology, used in computer, was ultra-large scale integrated circuit, or, artificial intelligence. Some examples, of fifth generation, computers are, Intel Pentium 4, IBM laptops. The computers, are broadly classified, into four categories, based on their size and speed. They are, supercomputer, mainframe computers, mini computers and microcomputers. In this section, we will learn, different types of computers, in more details. Supercomputer are fastest and most, 
powerful and expensive. They have large storage capacities. Supercomputers are particularly used in scientific and engineering applications, such as weather forecasting, nuclear energy research, satellite communications. Mainframe computers are the larger, faster, and more expensive. They are generally used in large organizations that require data exchange among several users, such as airlines, railways, banks, government departments. Many computer is a medium-sized computer. They are mainly multi-user system. They are used as network servers and internet servers. Many computers are used in small business, banks, supermarkets. Microcomputers is known as personal computer. They are small and inexpensive. Computer designed for individual use. They are used in home, office, banks, education institutions. Some examples of microcomputer are desktop, laptop, tablet, smartphone. In this topic, we have explained the basic characteristics of computers. Some of the important characteristics of computers are speed, accuracy, storage, versatility, diligence. Let us discuss them briefly. The computer can process data very fast. The rate at which computes the instructions per second is defined as the speed of computers. Accuracy of the computer is very high. It never makes any mistakes. It performs calculations with greater accuracy in less time. Computer have large capacity storage. The memory capacity of a computer is measured in bits and bytes. Computer are capable of performing almost any tasks. They are used in playing music, games, movies, etc. Computer do not get tired of work and never lost concentration. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to like, share and comment. For more videos by clicking on subscribe button. Please subscribe my channel.